Today we're going to be talking about talking to AI. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, talking about talking. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about how to talk to AI. Wow. I built a course that is really designed to help you think through how you should have a conversation with AI. Now, having conversations with AI, and I've had more than I care to count, it's like trying to get a 300-pound hippo to turn left on a dime. It weirdly is possible, but you have to do a lot of cajoling. And there are some principles about how these models work that you will learn in my course that will teach you how to do this. But today, we're going to go over some of those principles today. So hopefully, in the next five to 10 minutes, you're going to learn some really unique insights about how to have a conversation with AI, and most importantly, how to talk to AI to help you talk to AI. Anytime you think I should be thinking, you should say, no, let me, let's add, let me ask ChatGPT to think for me. So let's dive in. So this is my AI lead gen agent. Uh, it is the bread and it's you know part of the bread and butter of my course. But I'm actually going to break down why it's important and why I added every single section to this. So this is really key. You always want to begin a prompt. Let me like do a little zoomies, zoomies, zoomies. Um, you always want to begin a prompt with exactly what the purpose of what you're doing is. Now. In invariably, what I'm also trying to do, and I didn't do a good job here, I want to include context. Here's who I am. Here's what I'm about. Here's my ICP. So in that, give it the context about who you are and what you're about. Now, notice the target profiles. Now, this is just for lead gen finding, but you can use this for anything. These principles still apply. These are the categories of titles I care about. Sales and marketing. So these are the two types of categories of, of profiles I'm talking about. This is really helpful because sometimes the world, never does the world look exactly like it does in your head. Here are the key titles in order of priority. First, I want the CMO, then the VP of marketing. So I'm giving it directionality, right? The fact is that every piece of this prompt is designed with intentionality. One, two, three, four, five. Search strategy. So in this case, I'm actually telling the agent what to do. And especially as your prompts get much, much, much longer, it is so critical to tell AI, these are the exact steps that I as a human would take. So I said, use advanced Boolean searches on LinkedIn, Google. For example, like you can see, and I actually tried this, right? CMO or chief marketing officer or, or director of sales and company name in quotes. So I'm very specific. Basically, then I then I say something else, which is like, look, I tried the most specific ways, but you might have some other ideas about how to do this. The There might be alternative spellings or abbreviations company name. Uh, there could be other places on the web to look at the speakers, attendees, press releases. So basically, I start really narrow with a very specific way to do this so it can try that, move on. If first shot, it works. If it doesn't, I say keep going. Data gather and verification, this is really important. So I have to know that inside of Clay, there's structured information inside of the Clay gen. So I say, look at that. And that's why I said, verify current employment status. This is why it's really important for you to do this manually because you can provide the models much better information. Now, I have a trick here, which is every time I run a prompt, I run it back through the chat agent. So I can say, here are examples. Can you evaluate what these things did wrong? And I'll use my favorite tool, superwhisper.com. I don't get paid, but boy, I love Neil, and I think he's made a great product. But I think that you can just kind of talk and say, well, this is kind of wrong, that's kind of wrong, change this, change that. Again, I'm really filtering against structured information. Uh, I want you to look across industry or publication. So double check that this person actually works there. So this was the key challenge that I have, which is, I don't want Jordan if Jordan doesn't work at Blueprint. Qualification. So again, I, I always repeat myself if it's really important. Now, the models suffer from something called the primary recency effect, which is the same thing that you and I suffer from, which is we remember things that we heard first and most recently. The stuff in the middle, the peanut butter and jelly, the best part of the sandwich totally is lost. We're just eating bread in our daily lives. Relevant job titles, significant industry experience, clear indication of decision-making authority. So what this is, is it is more ammo for the model to think and reason. And this is going to be really important, right? I'm giving it the heuristics that I would use as a person. And by the way, I can have the model invent these heuristics where I can just become an editor. 
Generate tokens. List key observations with potential lead. I want it to just talk for a while. Argue for and argue against and make a decision. Now, let me talk to you about why exactly I did it in this way, which is generate tokens. I want it to just focus on spewing, right? I want it to argue for. Why do you think this is a good lead? And I argue against. Now, I don't know if you know this, and there's a great video on three blue, one brown. It's one of my favorite YouTube video channels. But he goes over exactly how these models work. Now, it's an attention-based system where it is predicting the next portion of a word, which means that it's not, it's not writing B. It's saying OBS. That's ERV is likely the next portion of the word. So this is why I said argue against. I want the most negative reasons why this lead isn't a good fit to be next because I want it to bias against no because the models really like to please. They just, they are, you know, they're the exact opposite of children. They really like to be, to please the person that's in charge. Decision, based on the balance of evidence, decide if it's a good lead. So take the forward and con. Um, I always give it an output format. I'm always really specific about this output format because in clay and other ways, you can basically, with formulas, regular expressions, turn this into structured data. So that's really, really, really key. And then I always say, uh, cite the source. Uh, did you do this verification thing? Give it a confidence score, which sometimes I don't like, really. And then uh, and then against, right? And then we said it's good. So this is all to push the model, which is don't stop. So with Clay specifically, it's like take a lot of steps, divide your time equally. Don't just spend one time and get kind of exhausted towards the end. Um, generally, anywhere between, I say they don't, they never spend 80, 80 a thousand tokens inside of clay. Maybe they'll spend 20, 30,000. So if you say 30,000 tokens, um, accuracy over speed, right? I want you to be deliberative. Um, so invent other strategies, right? If an exact match is not found, consider other options. This is really, really, really key. You always want to give the model an out, which is to say, you understand my purpose. You know what I'm going for. Don't just provide an answer. If you think an answer is not the right thing here, you find three leads and they're all kind of bad, you can just say, I tried. Because what the model will do is it's like always try for an output, but sometimes there just isn't an output. The business shut down, all sorts of things happen in the real world, right? And then give me this exact message here. Give me the result and the reasoning. Now, the reasoning is really helpful because that will help me improve the prompt so I can dump the reasoning back into Claude and say, hey, here are the reasons why I didn't find leads. And Claude can say, aha, I found that X, Y, or Z is true. We should improve the prompt. Um, I always say your mission is critical. Stop at nothing. Uh, could uh, impact job security. So this is really important. It turns out that emotional resonance really improves the model. Be meticulous, the stakes are high. Factual as possible, so I always am asking the model to include as many specific dates. Uh, and then I remind it, remember primary recency, I remind it what we're doing here, what is the purpose of this whole thing? And then go ahead, if you do nothing right, make sure that, think that what you're doing has all of the context. This and so much more, you will learn for $299 how to talk to AI in my course. Uh, and look, I, I don't know, I can't tell you how to talk to people, <laughs> but I have had plenty of conversations with AI. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with this, one of my favorite new prompts. Let's see. Well, uh, is tell me something about myself that you know that maybe even I don't know. And you gotta go into ChatGPT to do this. And this has all of your history pattern recognition, not just for, but in building scalable systems. Frame questions and think beyond could be the most powerful, almost hidden skills, a form of systems thinking that drives innovation across industries. And look at this, it asked me a question. You've leaned into consciously or resale is more intuitive to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for investing time in me. If you bought the course already, I'm very grateful. Uh, remember when you pay, it's like there. The, the, all the information is on that checkout page. Copy it, don't lose the link. Of course, email me. I'll always help you out. And I'm building a new course maybe next week and the week after that where I'm going to help you figure out how do you know who to say, who to say what to. 
those are the two problems that my next course will answer. Thanks. I, uh, I couldn't be here without you, and I am very grateful that you have invested your time to learn about me, learn from me, and hopefully improve the quality of your life based on the information that you take from these videos. Adios. Oh, I'll drop the links wherever this thing is. <laughs> Bye.